I'm Dr. Jeffrey Saver, stroke neurologist at UCLA and the global principal investigator for the SWIFT Prime trial, which I've just had the privilege of presenting on behalf of all the investigators at ISC. We undertook the SWIFT Prime trial to see if treatment with the solitaire stent retriever added to background therapy with IBTPA would improve further outcomes in patients with acute ischemic stroke who are presenting uh, early enough to get TBA and could be treated in the cath lab within six hours of onset. We undertook the trial because stent retrievers were known to be promising devices and had been cleared by FDA to reopen blocked arteries in patients. However, they had not yet been proven to improve outcomes in randomized trials. In the SWIFT Prime trial in Europe and the U.S., at the end of the study, 196 patients were enrolled and 98 assigned to the solitaire arm and 98 to the TPA only arm. The study was stopped with 196 patients enrolled because the first interim analysis showed the overwhelming efficacy stopping bound had been passed. Among the patients enrolled, the shift to less disability was uh, substantial in the solitaire patients and the p-value for benefit was 0 0.0002. In terms of the number of patients who achieved the final outcome of being alive and independent three months after stroke, the result was spectacular. The 60% of patients uh, in the solitaire arm were independent at three months versus 35% of patients in the TPA arm. So overall, uh, for every 100 patients treated with solitaire in this trial, 39 had a less disability as a uh, result, including 25 more who were alive and independent three months after stroke. We had very high reperfusion rates. Uh, nearly 90% of patients had a ticky 2B to 3 substantial reperfusion rate in whom the solitaire device was placed. And the safety profile was very favorable. There was no increase in symptomatic intracerebral hemorrhage or in radiologic hemorrhages of any type, including uh, subarachnoid hemorrhages, statistically compared to the control arm. And all serious adverse events were equally frequent between the two study arms. So the results of SWIFT Prime, along with other studies being presented at this meeting, demonstrate a tremendous benefit in this case from uh, solitaire stent retriever therapy in improving outcomes for acute ischemic stroke patients. We think that these results have major implications for practitioners and patients. Uh, this is a once in a generation change in care, the first advance in acute ischemic stroke uh, since the TPA trials 20 years ago. Uh, we now have a much enhanced ability to help patients who are having emergency large vessel occlusion blockages in the big proximal arteries who are not going to respond to TPA well because it can't digest the clot quickly, but who do respond well to the solitaire stent retriever. This will likely drive a reorganization of the healthcare system throughout the U.S. and the world in order to arrange for more patients who have emergency large vessel occlusions to be able to be brought to the neurocath lab centers that are capable of performing this type of intervention. We're going to be seeing a lot more drip and ship patients, as well as uh, ambulance routing strategies to ensure that patients can be brought to hospitals capable of delivering this remarkably effective new therapy. On behalf of all of the investigators in the SWIFT Prime trial, thank you very much for your interest in the study.